Hello all, welcome to the third session of the uh, online tutorial on Onshape uh, platform. Uh, today we are going to focus on uh, two-dimensional sketch with Onshape. Okay, so I'm going to sign in. All right, so I'll get my sign-in window like this. Then I will uh, um, uh, going to start with a new document. All right. So uh, you can come to the base where you can start create a, a part studio. Okay. So come to the uh, left base. Uh, click on this uh, plus button and uh, I can start a create uh, select the create part studio okay new part studio will be from here so if you wish you can make a, a rename there so we, we say it as uh, 2d uh, 2d sketch all right so I may just that tab as uh, 2d that's one of my part studio so uh, as I told, uh, any three-dimensional uh, solids, we it's usually starting from a uh, two-dimensional uh, 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 sketch. Okay, so if you want to make a, a, a rectangular prism, okay, so the, the, we will start with a rectangle. Uh, then we will extrude that rectangle and we will we can get a three-dimensional part okay so everything we, we we need to start it from the two dimensional sketch so oh, to understand the sketching is very important in 3d modeling here as i uh, explained in the last session you can see the top uh, toolbar uh, i can select for 2d you can i can get the sketch okay click on that sketch then you can select any plane i'm going to select the front plane okay so if you wish to select a top plane it's it's also possible you can click here okay again you can go to the top plane you can select that okay so if you wish to take the right plane for sketching you can again uh, uh, deselect the selected plane uh, and you can go to the right plane okay so you can take the right plane okay so then after making the right plane, right, right now this plane is inclined to uh, uh, your view, right? So you want to make it parallel, uh, normal to your view. What we are doing, uh, we right click on the uh, uh, sketch one and uh, a pop-up menu will come and you can select view normal to sketch plane. Okay, So now that is very normal to your viewpoint. So whatever you are drawing, you can see it as a plain two-dimensional drawing okay so uh, for exercise uh, we are going to import some two-dimensional images for drawing okay to to uh, make the sketch for that what I am going to do is I click here you can uh, have insert image there will be an option and we can bring uh, a few sketches okay so already which a uh, few JPEG images which I drawn already and I saved here so that you can start okay so for that what I'm going to do is I, I, I will, I'm going to import from the saved file okay all right I selected four files to import so all will be here it's getting importing. All uh, are imported. It's available on the cloud now. Okay, so all are getting imported. Now, uh, I if you wish the first image. Okay, or if you want to sketch, you can click that image double click and you can make a window here okay so this is my first window so this is just to help your uh, sketching only uh, after uh, finishing your sketch 
uh, what you can do you can remove this uh, sketch okay it is just a jpeg image it is not actually any line or any entity this is just a jpeg image to view oh the, the the dimension only we imported it okay so like that oh the sketches uh, complicated sketches you can import and you can draw in the uh, uh, a plane okay so the main advantage is that otherwise we want to switch between the windows okay so there is a chance for you know, so that we can avoid by this all right we we, we are going to start from here all right then I will move like this okay so this uh, by looking on this two dimensional you can see all our lines okay so come to the top you can select a line from here okay so there is a line click on that we will start from this point okay so that is the origin okay click there you can move. as you move you can see a constraint is coming that is a vertical constraint a, a, a black small vertical line is moving with your mouse you can see that okay then click one point again you can move okay so there is no need to hold on the click you just click finish okay so then you can move click again a constraint is coming you can see okay the vertical constraint is now coming now i'm moving an inclined line okay so click there then again i'm moving down okay then again moving that is perpendicular constraint is there it's perpendicular to the last line the yellow line is selected and this particular line which we are drawing is perpendicular to that line that is a relation then moving down you can see a vertical constraint is now there when you move and when it reaches uh, collinear to the origin uh, you can see a yellow dotted line is uh, there okay click on that point then from there again you can move towards the origin finish okay so this is the uh, somewhat the symmetry now we will go for uh, giving the dimension so you can click the dimension here that is 70 okay it is 70 and this again this will be 20 20 and this is again that become 20 you can see as you dimension it lines become uh, black okay so what that means is actually uh, the lines are these lines are now become fully constrained okay so that's why we uh, uh, see it as uh, black okay so now again we want to make a dimension between these two points okay so that is vertical point okay so we can move and you, you see it is 40 you need it is 40 all right 40 okay so now oh, this dimension we know that that is 10 okay and this is also 10 all right and this become 90 when you make that it become completely constrained that means it is now completely constraint further any dimension you are making that will be a uh, already uh, known dimension for example if you if you are going to uh, dimension this angle okay so these two angles i will just click that line and this line okay so you can see the angle okay so if you click uh, it, you cannot change further it, that means it is already the, the whole figure is constrained that's why it's a dimmed black dimension is coming that means it is related to other 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 dimensions which we have already given okay so you cannot change that because unless you are changing other dimensionally you can change this that means it is fully constrained okay so angle dimensions you can like uh, you can give like this and if you are giving some over constraints okay like uh, uh, if I want to make this as uh, uh, 70 degree, okay, so what will be the effect? So we know that that's 90, but I going, I'm going to make it 70, right? You can see it, it comes, uh, it, it, it has some uh, uh, the sketch cannot be sold okay so we cannot change because it's already fully constrained picture you cannot further make change okay so that means uh, you cannot uh, change it okay so we are going to 
delete that okay so now it's okay and this is finished huh? after finishing the sketch uh, you can uh, make a check on here okay so this is a simple uh, line based sketch okay so now i'm going to uh, bring the uh, uh, next image okay so for that uh, I I I will try to draw that on the uh, on another plane. Okay, so just make it. Uh, 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 isometric, and again I am going for another sketch. Okay, so we are going to select my front plane as my sketch plane. Okay, so then I select front plane, front plane, I single line. I to make it uh, normal to my view. You can right click and make it view normal. Okay, so we can see. That is view normal. It's already there are a few lines there, so I will make a, a, a new reference here. So for that, what I'm going to make make a construction line like this, okay, and I'm just making a new reference construction line. This the next image I'm going to plot here, okay. So uh, I want to again or to import uh, some pictures for that uh, I can uh, we already imported some things so what what we, we I'm going to import this six okay so I just want to make a drawing like this okay so I am taking these two lines as my reference. So what I am going to do, I just start the sketch, I click on the line, okay, click there, I will just make a horizontal line, you can see the horizontal constraint is there, alright, then I will just move vertical, alright. And I'm simply moving here. I, if I want to make it collinear to this point, I simply move this. Okay. All right. Now you can see if, what are the constraints available. You can see. You just remove this constraint, delete. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm just deleting this construction line source. Just uh, deleting that construction line source. So delete and delete this source. Okay. So uh, now I just going to make the dimension. I uh, can see all these are the the coincidence points. So these are the meeting points. And this line should also vertical okay so that for that what I'm I'm click on that and I want to make it vertical okay so that is also vertical so now the constraint all we have for the base rectangle so now I'm going for the uh, the circle I'm, I'm going to make a circle here so I'll just find out the midpoint I'll make a circle here okay. all right and again a circle I am going to make as an inner circle right here. This will be my second circle. Alright. So you can see uh, uh, that are uh, concentric circles. Okay. So for that again what I am going to I want to trim all these things. Okay. So there is an option called a trim. Okay. So click on that. Uh, you can select this. You can select this, you can select this, you can select this, you can select this. Okay, so that's fine. Then we have a, another rectangle here. Okay, so for that what, what we have what we want to do, we we'll make a rectangle like this. You can go to make a rectangle like this. Okay, I'm just making a rectangle like this. Right, so that's finished. Now I just switch off the uh, show constraint. All right. Now I'm going for the dimensioning. Click on the dimension tool. This uh, this line will be 
we know that that should be 70 that is our base okay so that is our 70 uh, then uh, uh, this will be 60 okay so that can that has to be made it as 6060 all right then uh, uh, the di uh, this di uh, diameter okay so that is 35 and uh, that is already there okay you cannot change that dimension because this is 70 that means it will be half and but this dimension we have to make it okay so that is actually uh, 20 okay so that i made it as r20 that means the diameter should be 40 okay so the diameter become 40 okay so that's it uh, and now i want to make a uh, this dimension so for that again i click here i make it as 10 uh, uh, that is 15 all right and uh, dimension between these and this what is that that is 10 okay so that is 10 and dimension this is 50 5050 and the dimension between this line and this line that is 1515 okay so i finished all the dimension okay so this is how we are making sketches okay so now i finished the sketch i can close click there right okay so now i am going to another sketch okay so uh, i may select uh, the top plane for sketching okay isometric for that i am going to select the top plane for sketching click on the sketch again we know that which one uh, our which is the top plane this will be the top plane okay right click view normal view normal to the sketch plane. okay so you can see this is the top plane we are going to make a sketch okay again i am going to import uh, an image from the all right so i i am bringing this as the image and i'm going to draw it here somewhere here okay so so you can see uh, this is a, a, a two dimensional picture like this uh, so usually uh, both are circle okay so the inner uh, dia is 10 uh, and the uh, outer uh, dia you can see it as a, uh, it, uh, you can see the center to the center distance is 7 okay so the outer dia is almost what maybe it is uh, you can see it is uh, 14 dia okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make two circles okay i'll click here I'll just make a circle here okay then another circle I'm going to make that is concentric okay after that I will just make a dimension for all these circles click this circle at maybe 10 right made it as 10 made it as 10 and the outside it is i'll make it as 14 okay i'll make it as 14 all right and uh, i just want to make what uh, a rectangle a square okay with the uh, six that means 12 okay so i just go to the uh, rectangle uh, center point rectangle you can select okay so click on that and come to click this center okay so you can make move it come down okay so it is 12 okay so what you can make is you are going to make it as 12 okay so uh, uh, i'll again make the dimension for this uh, make it as 12 finish all right so now I just want to trim all these things okay so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to make a trim okay so for that I'll just click on this I don't want 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 this 
I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. Okay, so now it's almost shape, but we need a chamfering here. Okay, so that radius they are telling is uh, uh, four. Okay, four into R one. So this filleting we can do. We can do it as R one. Okay, so oh, oh, again we 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 need some holes here. Okay, so that also you can see. It is uh, four into one point two dia holes you need. Okay, so for that, what I'm going to do, I'll just make uh, uh, make uh, 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 first. I'm going to fillet all these edges. Okay, so the hole will be uh, concentric to that filleting. So we will start with the filleting. Okay, you can select the filleting here. Okay, click on that filleting. Come here. Click this and click this, and you can make the filleting radius as one. Okay, so the fillet is finished. Okay, like that you click here, click here. Okay, fillet one is finished. Click here, click here. Okay, fillet is finished. Click here, click here. The fillet is finished. Okay, click the end. Okay, so all the filleting is now finished. Okay, so now what we are going to do is, uh, what we are going to do is we are we have now the uh we can make a small a uh, circle okay so here we make a small circle here and the diameter is 1.4 okay so click that make it as 1.4 okay so that's it and uh, uh, i i i'm i'm trying to do another way I'm going to make a, a copy of these circles, all these here, all this area. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going for a patterning. Okay. You can make here also circle, here circle, here circle. Okay. So I just make another way. I'm trying to make a, a circular pattern. Okay. So I'll I'll click this, and I will move this point towards this center. Okay. All right. And I need four numbers. Okay, click the four numbers. So it is actually divide, but it is uh, what to say? It is uh, not the exact point. Okay, so what I'm 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 just undoing that. Okay, again I can go for pattern, circular pattern of this one. Right, I just move this point. A turning point as this that is coincide okay I make that as four okay and all right okay so or you can do on that way also Another way, uh, as I told, because this is not equally dividing. Okay, so maybe because of that, uh, this come exactly, but this point is slightly shifted. Is I can we make these two point uh, as coincidence? Okay. All right. Okay. So now you can see. Now you can see. Hmm, it is patterned properly. Okay. So it is patterned properly, and uh, we designed according to uh, according to the shape. Okay. So uh, here we introduce the circular pattern. Uh, in the 2d sketches okay so by this i am winding up this session uh, we go through three different 2d sketches uh, you can take any sketches like this and uh, just select any any plane for sketching and uh, you can do like this 
uh, uh, you have some other entities like you can draw arcs, three point arcs are there, um, you can tangent arcs are there, center point arcs are there, okay. So again you can have, if you wish to draw some polygons, okay, so you can also draw some polygons, okay, so this uh, we are using for hexagonal bolt, okay, head. So like that you can draw polygons, okay, so uh, you can draw polygons, then uh, you can have some special curves like splines, okay. So splines are there, if you wish to draw some points, you can put there. If you want to make some construction line, for example, if I I wish to make a construction line, okay. So uh, uh, for that, uh, if I want to make a construction line, click on this line, click on the construction line, okay. So move like this. I'm just making some reference construction lines, okay. Click again. Just going to line, move here, click, make it works. All right, then just click on that line and right click, then you can go for the construction. Okay, so that also becomes construction. Okay, so you can make construction. So, like that, if you wish to make a circle for construction, okay, so if you want to make a circle for construction, okay. Uh, that uh, after drawing the circle, uh, you can select that circle. You can select that circle, select that circle, and make it construct. Okay, so you can see a construction line is made. Okay, so any entity like this, you can make construction also. Okay, so the thing is that that construction line will not be treated for any 3D operation. It just for helping us to draw complete the sketch okay so that is the advantages of making construction slide okay so you just do your own uh, you can bring your own two dimension sketch with the dimensions and try to draw and uh, find out uh, what are the alternative methods uh, for each uh, type of drawings okay so by this i am going to wind up this session uh, thank you for watching and uh, welcome all for my next sessions. Okay, bye bye.